Here we are people, 2024, our best year yet, my best year yet, and your best year yet. And in today's video, I plan on telling you how to achieve your goals, how to set your goals, and how to make sure you make the absolute most out of this year, 2024. So let's get it. Now, it's been said that sharing your goals and your plans online with friends, with other people, is actually a very bad thing to do. That's because it triggers a response in the brain that basically rewards you in the same way as if you were to complete them goals. I learned that from my good old friend, Andrew Hubman, my, probably one of my biggest role models, if you guys don't already know who Andrew Hubman is. I'll let him quickly explain it. Now, I realize that there are some prominent examples in pop culture of people posting something on social media and saying, you know, in three years, I'm gonna be, you know, playing in Wembley Stadium, or in two years, watch, I'm going to be at the top level of my game, whatever that game happens to be. Sure, there are examples of that. And those are beautiful and inspiring examples. However, the scientific data tell us that if we inform people around us that, for instance, we are going to write a book or that we're going to start a podcast, that the positive feedback that we get from others when we announce that we're going after a goal activate certain reward systems and motivation systems within our brain that then quickly dissipate and then diminish the probability that we'll engage in the type of behaviors that actually lead us to achieve that goal. So yeah, on this occasion, I'm actually gonna go against Andrew Hubman's advice, which is something I don't recommend you ever do, but I hope that me sharing my goals and sharing my objectives, my targets with you guys and how I set them will hopefully inspire you and hopefully get you guys off to a good start too. Now, I'm sure a few of you guys are probably thinking, Louis, we're three, four weeks into January at this stage. Maybe you guys are even watching this video later on in the year, June, July. It doesn't really matter because every year is a new year. Every month is a new month. Every week is a new week. Every day is a new day so you get a fresh opportunity every single day you get a fresh opportunity whenever you want whenever you decide to push start that's when you can start again so if you haven't started working towards your goals yet please don't worry neither have I and you're not behind especially if you watch this video and then you go and make your goals and we build the foundation and then from Monday you can get started and hopefully work towards some of these goals so the reason I'm actually making this video is because just before the new year me and the boys on my create club I think there was 15 of us on the call spent about three hours each individually going through our goals and setting them into different categories. And at the time, I hadn't actually written down any of my goals, but it really inspired me and kind of gave me a direction of what my goal should look like in comparison to other like-minded people. So hopefully this video helps you if you're like me, or even if you're not like me. Once again, the Creator Club is now closed. All entries are taken, all spaces are taken. I announced that on Instagram last week, but I didn't tell you guys on YouTube. So if any of you guys still want to join the Creator Club, I think we have 23 people now, which I'm super proud of. Super small community, weekly Zoom calls, all of that stuff message me on Instagram, I'll give the information and I'll open a couple of spaces just for the guys on YouTube if they still wanna join. So let's get started. My first goal of 2024 and my biggest goal is to bring a child into this world, to bring a little baby Louis, a little baby Louis Armstrong and to kind of just, I'm joking completely joke but you never know <laughs> you never know but no my plan is not to bring a child into this world yet I feel like I still have a lot to learn and I feel like I'm still on a on a quest myself so no no babies at this stage for now I don't think right so seriously let's get into this I find the best method for setting goals is to break them down into categories that's what we did on the creator club call and I found it extremely helpful once we've broken them down into categories we then set them as short-term goals and long-term goals okay so the categories we broke them down to on the creator club call are are the following health business personal creative and financial five different categories three main goals for each category so initially when you write down your goals at the start of the year they might seem quite overwhelming quite far away quite kind of just a little bit scary to be quite honest and that is the same for me for example one of my biggest goals is to hit 100k subscribers now I can easily write that down on a piece of paper but if I don't have a system in place for how I'm going to achieve that goal then it might be very difficult for me to actually hit that goal and keep track of my progress so the system I could put in place for that goal is to post two YouTube videos consistently every single week. And again, I could go into more detail. I could post on a Wednesday and a Sunday. I could make sure those two videos are on two different subjects. They're both over 10 minutes or whatever else. So this year, I'm putting a different system in place. And the system, by the way, whilst we're on the subject of subscribers, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please, please do. If you don't have a YouTube account and you just watch, sign in 
create a YouTube account it takes two seconds and hit subscribe it helps me a lot and we've been hovering around the same number of subscribers for so long so I really want to change that this year I really really want to hit 100k if you have any friends who you think might like the channel please share my videos with them tell them to subscribe also leave a like on my videos that helps the algorithm and also drop a comment what I want you to do on this video specifically is drop a comment with two things number one who are the other youtubers that you watch and enjoy and number two what type of content would you like to see more of on this channel in 2024 so anyway thanks I hope I hope we can hit 100k this year so my system to grow my YouTube channel this year is gonna be slightly different and I'm going in with more kind of a strategy in terms of content so I'm gonna film four sit down talking videos like this answering people's problems giving my advice adding value my experience in certain things lessons learned mistakes made helping content creators helping people with fitness helping people with running answering the questions that I get asked the most so basically trying to add as much value as I can to the people who watch the video for me personally it's clear that I really just enjoy helping people I wouldn't say well I am kind of a people pleaser which can be detrimental but I like to see people reach their goals I like to see people achieve their dreams I, that's I like to see people do well I have never been jealous of any, anyone else I've never seen like if I see, see someone driving around in a Lamborghini or a car that I like I don't say oh how did he get that I wish I could have that I always say to myself well if he can do that so can I and that's kind of my outlook on life and I want to share that with you guys and show you guys that I'm sure almost all of you watching these videos especially if you're willing to put in the time and the work on yourself you can achieve whatever you believe and again that was one of the main reasons why I set up my creator club kind of community course because I knew from what I've learned over the last five or six years doing this that if I teach it to other people I kind of give them the blueprint and I guide them a little bit they can also achieve the goals and that has been proven with every single person that is on the creator club it's something that I am extremely proud of seeing people improve their lives and go out there make photos take videos work with big brands and travel the world if I can help people achieve that I'm happy super happy and I feel fulfilled I was actually watching a really good YouTube video the other day and I heard the quote, I believe the ordinary can achieve the extraordinary. And to be honest, I completely believe that as well. That is kind of my theory on life. For me personally, I believed that, well, I know in fact that I'm pretty much very ordinary. I'm not super intelligent. I wasn't good at school. I wasn't good at any kind of sports. I wasn't good at football. I wasn't, I wasn't good at anything in particular. In fact, I was actually very bad at school. When I got to the age of around 25, I realized I was seeing people live these extraordinary lifestyles, especially on YouTube. And I said to myself do you know what if they can do that I can do that and just believing in yourself and putting in the work helps you get on the right path and helps you one day be able to achieve the goals and get that life that you've you've always dreamt of every day I wake up on my own terms I'm able to do whatever I want and I feel happy I feel fulfilled I love my life I wouldn't change it for anyone else's I wouldn't change anything about the past and I'm excited for what the future holds so I want you guys to also feel the same anyway I'm sure you guys get the point so moving on the other day when I was writing down my goals I asked myself this question and this is a question that I ask myself quite often and I believe that you guys should too. I also ask this question to all the boys when they join my creator club and it is, what would you do if money was no option? If you had no responsibilities, if you didn't have to work, what are the things that you would do in your life? Write them down in a book. If you don't know the answer right now, take your time, keep thinking about it and in a month's time, come back to it and write down. You might have multiple answers. You might just have one answer. For me personally, I have three things. Number one is making videos. I love making videos. I love taking photos. I love the process. I love the final results. Result. I love sharing my videos online with you guys and getting the comments, getting the feedback and people send me messages saying, Louis, I watched this video, it changed my life. I took up running, I started doing ice baths. I did this because of you, because they saw my video. That to me makes me so happy. So if I wasn't getting paid to do this, if I had all the money in the world, I would still continue to make videos and publish them online. That's number one. Number two is to run and lift. Nothing in this world makes me feel better than going for a run or lifting some weight. If I had to choose one, um, surprisingly, I would choose running. Running increases the endorphins. There is no better feeling than going for a run, I think. At the time, it's a struggle it's difficult it's horrible it's not enjoyable most of the time but when you completed it the the feeling is just they call it a runner's high for a reason so running for me I have to do and I have to do some form of exercise every single day in the days where you're traveling or you're ill and you can't move your body you can't get outdoors you can't do any exercise I feel terrible so running lifting doing some form of exercise every single day is something that I would continue to do no matter what so if I can com combine running lifting and making videos this is my passion this is what this is what I like to do this is what I enjoy doing so it never feels like work and the third point that I wrote down is basically teaching people and helping people reach their true potential and believing in themselves just giving them the confidence the boost that they need to go out and absolutely smash
match it in life. Again, this is another thing that I've learned since starting the Creator Club. When we have our weekly calls, maybe two hours long on Zoom, and there's 15 or 20 boys on there, and we just talk about content, about basically getting, escaping the nine to five, and getting after it. Whenever the call's finished, all the boys writing the message, wow, Louis, that was an amazing call. Thank you so much, feeling so inspired, ready for Monday, ready to go kill it. And again, that just makes me feel happy, inspiring other people to go and make the most of life. Grab life, buy the, the gonads, and just get out there and kill it. Everyone has the potential to do it. So if you're not doing it, get up and get after it. And like I said, once again, you should ask yourself this question when you're writing down your goals, when you're thinking, when you're trying to find your passion, when you're trying to understand what makes you happy, write down this question and try and find the answer to it. I'm sure if you're younger, that answer won't come straight away. Even if you're older, you might still not have the answer, but think about it every day and eventually you'll kind of hopefully find your purpose. Once you've found your purpose, you found your passion, you found your niche, you're ready to go kill. It. Another thing to remember is that money doesn't always equal happiness. It's super cliche, but I'm very happy with my routine my lifestyle right now and I'm not super rich. I'm doing well for myself, I have everything that I want and need and at the end of the day it's my routine and what I fill my day with which determines my happiness. So I'm going to quickly read my notes for this one because this is extremely important. One downside of setting goals at the beginning of the year is that motivation usually, most likely, in fact definitely gradually declines throughout the year. So when you come to June, July, August, I guarantee your motivation is nowhere near as high as what it was on January 1st, but that's okay, that's normal. So one thing to think about when you're setting these goals is that end goal, the problem with setting goals like this is that end goal is the destination. And many people focus so much on the destination, but they don't think about the journey, they don't enjoy the journey, they're not aware of the path the steps they need to take on that journey. Another thing that people tend to think of when they're writing down their goals is to create SMART goals. So SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time, time-based. Now, your goals don't have to be SMART goals or SMART targets. Your goal could be something as simple as have more free time, spend more time outdoors. So again, these goals are a lot more simpler and they don't necessarily have to be smart goals or smart targets. So we're coming up to the end of the video. I hope this has helped you. I hope it's inspired you. I hope after the, watching this video, you're gonna go and write down some of your goals. So here I'm gonna get into actually breaking down my goals and the categories. So to be clear, I do have more goals than this. I actually have a lot of goals and targets, but I kind of wrote them down to clear my head and again, I'm gonna tackle these goals one by one. I'm not gonna to hope to achieve all of them at the same time, that's impossible. I'm gonna slowly tackle them one by one. But on this occasion, I'm not gonna share all my goals with you because some of them are private. Some of them are little secrets that I don't want to share with you guys because you get it, they're private. So we'll start with financial, okay? Again, if you join my Create Club, you can get the ins and outs and you can get my secrets before everyone else. Again, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, this video was not set out to promote the Create Club, but just got off a call with the boys and I'm feeling pumped and I want to help more people. Unfortunately, girls, the Create Club is filled with 23, 24 boys. So there are no girls and I'm not sexist in any way, but it just seems that I'm better at helping boys than girls. Anyway, so let's start with financial. Have X amount saved in my bank account. I'm not a good saver, so this is a big one for me. Good news is we are 18 days in and I'm already making progress towards this goal, which is good. Earn X a month by the end of the year. Actually in December, I smashed it. I went sober and I already hit this goal. But again, the plan now is to keep that consistent throughout the year of 2024. And next up is to keep a financial diary. So basically in Ibiza for two years, my spending was absolutely outrageous. I'm not super rich. I'm, I'm not buying bottles in high or tables or any of that stuff, but I just don't really ever think about the price of stuff and I just buy it here, there and everywhere. And I waste a lot of money. So my plan for 2024 is to write down what I spend each day, have a look at my subscriptions that are going out each month because I waste a hell of a lot of money on subscriptions. So just to be more financially aware of what I'm spending, where my money's going. So that way it's easier to save. Next up, health. Um, I'll share with you a lot of these because I think these are quite good and it's gonna give you kind of inspiration for what you should write down for your goals. Again, your goals should not be similar to mine or maybe they will be similar to mine, but don't write down the same goals as me just because I wrote them down. So health, cold shower every day for three minutes. I have been doing this and it has literally changed my life. I don't have the shower hot first, literally run the shower and cold for a minute or two, make sure it's nice and crispy cold. It's freezing in Madrid right now, so it gets to that temperature. In there for three minutes, wash myself in the cold shower and get out. You feel amazing. It's the best thing you could ever do. So I've, I've done that now for 18 days and the benefits are tremendous. Again, I'll go and I'll make videos on all of these things. Go into more detail. Run five or six times a week. Run another ultra, ultra marathon. Bench press 100 kilograms for 10 reps. I used to be able to do that when I was like 17, but weight training has kind of been put to the side. 
whilst I've been running so much. Sub 45 minute 10 kilometer run, 20 strict pull-ups, with no, with no breaks. Stretching and mobility, 20 minutes every morning. Start boxing or some form of martial arts. I used to do Taekwondo for like four years, up until I was like 19. So I'd like to pick something like that up again. Sauna, once per week, at least once per week. Next, we're gonna go into business goals. So grow my Instagram to 250K. Again, these are the big goals. Remember, these are the destination. I've also written out a little journey, a path to how I'm gonna do this. Post this amount of reels a week, do Q and A's, reply to all messages, reply to all comments. Remember, the short term goals that lead to that end term goal, long term goal, destination are just as important. Hire a video editor, hire a videographer. Again, these things might not come until later in the year, but I hope to take them off or I hope to get close to taking them off. Don't be so hard on yourself if you don't quite achieve them. Personal goals, read one book a month, minimum. Um, I'm, I've got a Kindle, so I'm currently reading books on my Kindle, which I really enjoy. I read first thing in the morning, I have my phone off, and I'll tell you all this another day. Plan every single day, so make a to-do list for every single day. That keeps me focused and on track. Five minute journal every single day. I've been doing this, literally a life changer. Practicing gratitude, I can't say how good it is, honestly. Be able to have a conversation in Spanish. So I'm gonna do two one hour Spanish lessons with Cindy a week. Um, I'm also doing Duolingo. I've got a 62 day streak currently, so I'm, 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 I'm making small steps, okay? Help Cindy start her YouTube channel. Buy a new outfit every two weeks. So one thing that I've found is that my fashion sense is pretty terrible. I don't know, it just hasn't been a priority for me. I w often wear all my gym stuff and I would like to start dressing better. I, I love looking at people who are well-dressed. So every two weeks, I'm gonna go and buy myself a new outfit. That might just be pants and a shirt, pants, just an outfit, not something super expensive. I'll just be going to Zara, Bershka, Mango, wherever. Um, again, I don't like to spend lots of money on clothes. So yeah, that's one goal. So by the end of the year, I should have 24 new outfits. I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna start dressing differently to how I would normally dress because I look at people on the street, I look at people on Instagram and I'm like, wow, he's cool as fuck. I would love to dress like that, but I don't have the balls to dress like that. So do you know what? I'm just gonna do it and get out of my comfort zone. That's what you have to do to change. Next up is creative. So my creative goals are to script every single YouTube video, script every single reel, script every single piece of content that I make. So make sure the content has a purpose, make sure I'm adding value in some way and just basically plan out my content more efficiently. Um, post two quality YouTube videos a week. Probably shouldn't be telling you guys that because if I don't stick to it, you guys are gonna give me shit. But try my best to post two quality YouTube videos a week. Again, this might not come until later in the year when I have a videographer or I have a video editor helping me. Collaborate with at least one new creator a month, which is something I used to do a lot and I haven't been doing and I really miss collaborating with people. I actually met a new friend last week in Madrid and we did an Instagram video together, which was nice. Tom, super nice guy. And finally, I hope this video has given you some ideas and inspirations. I'm sorry. It's gone on a little bit longer than what I thought. When I initially wrote this script over the last couple of days, I thought we we're gonna fly through it in 10 minutes. Obviously not, never like that with me. Um, I don't think you need to put any pressure on yourself. Like I said, if you've already failed some of your New Year's resolutions, don't worry, you can start again tomorrow. Don't put pressure on yourself. Don't think because you've drank a bit of alcohol that you've not completed dry January, just quit and start again tomorrow. And remember guys, like I said, I have been ill, so I've had a slow start. I saw Rob Lipset post on his story last week. He's had a late start because he was in Dublin. Now he's going to Marbella, now he's going to Dubai. So don't worry, there is no pressure. Like. As long as you're building that foundation, you're writing down the goals and you're kind of developing a routine that's gonna help you achieve these goals. That's all that matters, step by step. Don't try and hit all of your goals at once. It's impossible, it makes it so much more difficult and confusing and overwhelming. Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in once again. I really appreciate everyone who watches all my videos, especially the guys who watch every single video and leave a comment, leave a like no matter what. You guys are the real ones and I really, really appreciate you. Whatever you do, don't think that I'm ungrateful for the subscribers that I have. I know that although I have a small, smaller audience, my audience is super, super loyal. You guys are literally the best. I love my followers. I love my audience. I love you guys who watch the videos. It, it means the world to me. When everyone comes up to me in Ibiza and says, oh, I watch this video, I watch this video, can I get a photo? I literally love that. That makes my life. So super grateful of the community that we've built and hopefully we can reach a wider audience and grow it even more this year. Help me hit 100K, subscribe to the video, share my videos with your friends. And finally, if anyone is interested in joining the Creator Club, this is the very last chance. I'm closing it because I want to keep it intimate. I want to keep it... I wanna keep the group small. Again, I think I'm on 23. It's either 23 or 24. I wanna keep the group to like 25. We're doing a group trip to Marbella in February, which is gonna be sick. This is the last chance for you guys on YouTube. Instagram, already finished, but message me on Instagram. Tell me that you watch this video and I'll see if I can get you joined. We'll do a little call. 
and see see what's up. See if you fit. See if you make the fit for the Creator Club. And if you guys aren't ready for the Creator Club yet, don't worry. I'm going to keep trying to provide value as much as I possibly can in the form of these videos. Now the pressure is relieved. I kind of put a lot of pressure on myself to film my first video of 2024, thinking that it had to be super informational, thinking it had to be this big deal. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.